Right, I'm back then. Stream's up, by the way. Let's try to some things out. Start up and then all the movement will come up here. Mm -hmm. Seven sorted, Ben. I'm trying to use the chat, but my phone is not going. Like my chat's like half cut out, I don't know what's going on. Where is it? Oh I've got it sorted. Good. Hello everyone, and welcome to Four Murder 7 again here on Sunday. It's round 13 for the Silver Guys at Mexico today. Um, D. David's still at the top. Um, could clutch the championships today. So yeah, should be an interesting one. What round's it? 13? 13, I yeah, for Silver. Anyway, because our, uh, our season started a bit later than the goal. Uh, it should be interesting to see what T. David can do. See if we can get that title that he most wants. You can hear your phone, Ben. <laughs> On my phone? Yeah. <laughs> It's just so I can check the fucking... Yeah, I've got oh, it up sorry, on my... Sorry for my, for my apologies. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. four so I can see the comments. Yeah, I've got them up on my screen as well, so we're all good. Bit of stress, right. bit of stress this morning getting the screen up first. 
but it was a bit later than normal range. But we're here now. Hoping for a good one here. Who's going to make the first moves in the pit lane? Looks like we've got a bit of movement off Alpha well, Tower. guys, today we are going to do a minute silence. So if all of you guys can maybe stay in the pits for a minute after you've done one lap, um, that would be absolutely perfect. A lot of cars coming out on track. Yeah. Very busy. I sort of spec it a minute. Who are we going to have coming through first? We've got Taylor's going on mid-jumps, we've got Sark on mid-jumps, we've got Lucas on mid-jumps as well. It's quite interesting to see the tyres. The tyres wear pretty high around here that we've learned from what we've done, so it's interesting to see the can pull out laps doing that. Got a couple new guys in here as well. Got lightning fly, mm. Lucas as well. We know pretty quick in general, quick color. And then just got the other guys from other races. So, okay. Well, we have Lucas in today as well. Yeah. Bit congested in that last time. Right now, lightning and fly all over the back of the McLaren. Don't know who that is. How did I change the camera? Oh, there we go. We've got who's first in the lead? We've got our. Who's on a flyer? Fox Deros? Yeah, we're still bored with Fox Deros. I think there's a Ferrari in front of him. I'm not sure if he's on a flyer or not. I'm on board with PX Limits right now. He's is he on a flyer. He is on a flyer. He's um, looking really good so far. Yep. He can now do the accession flat. No, he's changed down the invalidated. Looks like it's looking pretty smooth DX on the throttle here. Yeah. Um, it's me doing. No mistakes through there. Uh, yeah. It's invalidated. Looks like it's invalidated through the start of the air section. Oh, body lap, the body lap. She's on a flat. Yeah. Got a 189. I'd hope to be seen by the end of the session, maybe what what of our times? Mid 113. Mid 113s for pole, I'd say. Can we get a prediction yeah. in the chat to see who do we think is gonna be on pole by the end of this? We've got Sark to set a 167 on me jumps, 79 Patterson. Oh, there's been a Captain Blade has gone into the back of Lucas. Has it? Um, I haven't seen um, no painting on my screen at the moment. Um, but there was a bit of a hold up. Yeah, I'm on board with Diamond Tucker who's just set a perk middle sector. See as he crosses the line, it's a uh, 165 with provisional pull. But I guess it's not exactly when the pole time I was expecting my eyes to be. Who else is our fire? We've got him on board with Joe Champion, see what he can do. He's a second fire, he's a bit short in the RS, right? A bit deep. A bit deep. Got in a double right hander. Doesn't use all the track limits, but it's decent. Still looking smooth. A bit deep again, but. Oh, left. You don't want to be doing that, that's where all your time comes from. Sling shot down the deep back, the DRS straight. Well, I try to carry as much speed as possible and use as much of the track as possible to try to cut that time down. Goes very deep into the hairpin. I 
I'd say this lap's probably around the 117. 162. 162, that's not bad. It's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Who else have we got? Who else is on a fire? Tracks quite oh, in yeah, a little bit. Just coming through on the mediums now. Yeah. They're doing a fire. He sets up oh, 151. 151 on the that's more like the pace that we'd like to see, and that's on medium, so. Looking like a decent lap from Lucas. Mm -hmm. Greeny is coming through, he's going flat through the S section. Nathan's still in the pits, not made the lead yet. Yeah, we've only got one, one person on a flyer, and it's Greeny, so. Greeny, yeah. What can he set here? Doesn't use the short line, uses wide, and it goes on 116.3. Once again, puts him quite in the midfield with the times right now, but I think Taylor and I think there's quite a few of me jumps that set a lap, I think. Ben, so. Not sure about that. Who else have we got? J Dizzle, Bodhi Lad. Nah, he's not on a flyer. Quick killer, he's on a flyer. Let's see what he can do. He's in the bit first straight just now, Ben. Yeah. Breaks about the 100. Cuts that quite nicely. Eh, yeah, not too bad. He's a short line again. That's not awful. No. Oh, I think that's Nathan in front of him. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, no, Purple first sector. Like, so Very quick colour. Bit slow for that right hand. Yeah. Yeah, we did the hairpin. Not bad. He wants to be absolutely flat now for real. Wants to try his best. Oh, Cuts it a little bit just on the, on the limit. limit. He wants to try keep his foot to the floor oh, left. That's going to lose him quite a bit of time. Box there off. So it's a 14-9, first driver to set into the 14s, don't even see that. First driver to break in there. And two drivers just getting out of the way there. Including our own CEO. And he crosses the line now, he guesses a 1-15-6. Once again, not terrible. Definitely well, the time we have in there. Tater on a flyer now. I'm staying on board Go with Tater. He sets a perfect sector one. We know Taylor likes this track, Ben. Mm -hmm. We can speak we in tongue. We do. Yeah. He does enjoy this track, so he's, been, he's uh, definitely been hoping for a good result. Fair play to him. He is, uh, he's up there at the top. I think he wants to get this secured in the bag. He's been giving me a lot of banter recently, um, but uh, me and Ben have been doing a bit of practice with him. And, uh, he's been involved starting out the new season. So if anyone are in the comments that are watching and enjoy racing, come along, um, come and take a trial, and we will sort you out and see if you can uh, get a seat here at Formula 7 for the new season. Um, but in the meanwhile, we've got Taylor crossing the line, and he goes out oh, 149. 600 behind Pox Dero. And he's only set one lap, so that's not the end of the world. Oh, we got uh, Nathan validated again. Come on, Nathan, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Adrian Sky coming through the hairpin now. What's he going to do? Uses quite a bit of track. I've not seen many drivers use that yet, and we've been on board with. Uses a short line. This is going to be quick. It's going to be a oh. one two. Nice. Nice. That's a big chunk of time compared to second, but the two McLarens at the top there. If we can keep that one too, that'd be perfect. I'm sure they'd love to have that. Who've we got? We've got Diamond Tucker on a fire as well. I think Ed just cheered 11 bits. Cheers, Ed. Oh, he's getting blocked a little bit. I don't know if Captain Blade's on a flyer or not, but he's getting a little... No, he's not. He's got the recharge uh, button on the back as well. Oh, but Cap uh, Diamond Tucker is not on a flyer either. He's not got a hot lamp. Hold on. I want the quick killer now. He's on a flyer. A bit faster for the 
A section. Rick's around 100 meter, cuts on the right. Good traction out of that. Yeah, it's not bad. Hopefully, use a bit of track. Good, you can get track. This is Uses way too much on the exit. It's a 153. It's not bad. Who else have we got? Joe Champion coming around the final corner. He's on a. No, he's not on the fire. He's invalidated. Who's we got? Ethne. He's set on to a fast lap now. Who else have we got? A Quinlan's just coming around and he sets up a 145. I'm very surprised then we haven't seen like the likes of Adrian Sky and Quinlan, uh, maybe even Lucas. Uh, I know he was on the medium, he is on the flyer now. I'm really surprised we've not seen these guys hit in the 13th. I'm sure with the, I'm sure they're just having a little warm up Ben. But we can see Lucas that's, here using a true, lot yeah. more track than ev anyone else we've seen. Looking very Lucas, smooth, Lucas. Lucas, yeah. Doesn't lift yeah, for there, that's always the best way to lose, to minute, maximize time. I can see us getting in the 113. Nice right hander, doesn't clip too much of the curb. Not bad hairpin, maybe a bit over straight. I think we're going to see the further Bit deep into the last couple of corners. 37. Yeah, there we go, a 137. First one to break the barrier. It's the time to be in 15 minutes. And as well, boys, if we could give that minute service for Prince Fit in a minute, that would be great just before the race. Um, just to show a bit of appreciation uh, for the country, I suppose. Don't remember that either, but. Yeah, true respect to the. Yeah, sure yeah. Respect. But looking down at the leaderboard, we've got Nathan who's not set a lap yet, and we've also got Ryan who's not set a proper lap yet, and he's just went into the first sector. He's kind of lost it a little bit going into the first corner. He's only got five minutes left of the session as well, so he's lost it again. Roll back out of that lap. Let's see who else is about. What do I have invalidated? Jay Dizzle, who was down in 17th. He's six tenths up, but invalidates in the first sector. That should be big movements there if he could have kept that lap going. Now else have got Patterson, who's Not going done. for the first sector. Go yeah, you got now, uh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. first and second. If it wasn't ideal, so better if I was to that mm. lap. Yeah, limit. GX limits. I think he might be up on his time here. No, he's just running Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, oh, a bit wide. 156 doesn't improve. Who else have we got on a fast lap? Taylor Pitts. He'll be going back out, I guess. Oh! Oh, I didn't realise. Yeah, that's just a big reaction. PX Limits is on the floor, Diamond is. Uh, PX Patterson is not on our wire bin. If you pick. Recharging. Uh, we've got Lightning Fly coming through the other section. Getting very slow. Diamond really Tucker, slow. I'm on board the Diamond Tucker, let's see what he can do. Adrian Sky, I think, is also on a flyer. you got to go on board with Adrian, see what he's doing. He's trying to go for that pole position. I'd expect to see a couple more. Oh, he's invalidated. I'd expect to see a couple more of these guys in the 13s for the end of the session. I def definitely expect Aquin, Limpox, Steros, Adrian Sky. Yeah, I'd maybe jump I in here. I imagine from what I've seen with Ryan last week that he can set off. Oh, we've got Nathan in the last sector. Yeah. Let's see what he can do now. A bit deep into the hairpin. He's just trying to get that lap in. Put your foot down, Nathan! 
one, two, three, eight, there's a twelve. I don't think he's gonna have time to set another lap as well, so I think that might be yeah. it from our league CEO. Got Ryan who's in the pits, don't know if he's gonna set a lap, but we've got Adrian Sky coming through the pits right now, he's in Faraday. He might he should go for another one if he's got enough fuel on board. Well, no, he did say he didn't do no practice. That's very true. Poxteros is coming through the last corner now, he's on a flyer. What can he do? Can he take that position off Lucas? Sure, right? He can! Oh, one, two, because I'm one. And I don't think he'll have, he, he doesn't have time to set another lap. He'll be disappointed with that. We know Poxteros can set 13 ones. He has his time trail, but it's not the end of the world. We've got Adrian Sky on another lap as well. He just finished the first sector. Who else have we got? Quick colour. He's three tenths up going into the Quick, uh, section. He's getting that dirty air off. Um, yeah. I think that might be Joe Champion. I'm not too sure. He needs to get out of the way that Alfa Romeo. He's, he's, he's not on a flyer either. Yeah, they're both on a flyer. Oh, but Joe he's Champion is straight over. Is it Joe Champion? I think it is. It's not. It's no, Alba, it's not. It's a Quinlan. Quinlan. That's not great for me, Quinlan. He's on a flyer as well though, but it's Was not, he? I uh, thought I seen a recharge button no, on. he was. I thought I seen a recharge. He invalidated all that. I think that's because he went straight over. He's going for another Taylor one though. He's got enough fuel. So is Lucas. So we've got... Adrian, who can't set another lap time, so that's it for Adrian and the two McLarens. That's all she wrote for the McLarens. A Quinlan going to the first sector, who else have we got on the fast lap? Patterson, I'd expect him to maybe improve from the time he's got, he's going for the first sector. Ryan's on an out lap, he's set in last place right now, you wouldn't expect that from him, but we're on board with it. Oh no, he's on an out lap. Pops so pits. Lucas pulls out his lap, so he's not going to be able to set another one. Who else have we got? got Nathan Adrian in the final sector again. He's set purple sector two. Come on, Nathan! I That's a I... lot better line that time. Can we see Nathan possibly get into the four teams? Maybe he's, even just, the oh, he's almost lost the back end. Still put a good time, maybe. Oh, he's gone 8th fastest with a 5th 152. The only person I think, I think that's the top. We've got a quick killer, he's unvalidated. The only person I think can take this pole position is Taylor. I'm on board someone... now. What's this sector 1 going to be? Oh, he's not set purple. He's two times up. Using a lot of the track there on the double right, can he keep it tight? He does. Diamond Tucker's put it in oh, the wall. Diamond Tucker is in <laughs> the wall. Maybe not carrying as much speed as he could be able to. But they are going for the second part of the S section. Left. Oh, That's not going to put one. He's invalidated. Oh, and he's put it okay. in the wall. <laughs> oh, and he's put it in the wall. Ryan set oh, a one in the fifth. Ryan set it in the Brian has set yeah, a 115. Uh, Lightning Fly, one of our new drivers is on the flat. He's doing a 140 then. That's it. I think that's it, guys. I think only driver to get into the 13s is Lucas. Quite, I'm sure the top four will be quite disappointed with their times, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think they know themselves that they're a lot more capable. We're getting into the 13s, but... Uh, we'll do this uh, minute so we get smart. Yeah. Uh, comments in people around the... in... in the... Uh, going into the pits. If you just do a quick minute silence. Uh, that would be great. Uh, let me name out the... Uh, the other boys at the yeah. moment we're going to it. So Lucas is on pole. Second, we got Pop Sterile. Third, we have Adrian Scully in the McLaren. Two McLarens on uh, two and third and three, so them guys could do good today. We have uh, Ed Quinlan, uh, quick, quick Killer, Sharp, Taylor in seventh, uh, Ryan in eighth, Nathan in ninth. Wow, oh, that's so good. I think Nathan can show his true pace today if he gets out there. We've got uh, in tenth, we have Banner Brandon, uh, PX Limits in eleven, Joe Champion 12. 
Uh, if me and 13, uh, Diamond's up there in 14. Oh, yeah, Mike and Five got a five place team. penalty. He's going to be starting last. Uh, Patterson in 16. Uh, Captain Blade in 17. Greeny in 18. Uh, JJ's all 19. And I didn't get who was 20. Bowdy lad was 20th. Yeah. Right, guys, we could get our minute silence just now, just before yeah. the race commences. Right, yes, uh, in the chat and everything. Always the minute silence that la seem to last about 20 minutes themselves. Yeah, so they actually, always do, they? They always seem <laughs> always to, seem to uh, be a drag. Last a while. <laughs> but, um, no, it's just paying yeah, thanks for that, guys. That bit of respect. Um, yeah, to the royal family, really. So, <laughs> what do you think for the race, to, uh, Ben? Um, I think it's going to be interesting. Um, is my eye is definitely going to be on um, Taylor and Aid Quinlan today. Um, I think um, obviously the top runners. I think it's the likes of Lucas. We've seen his pace. You know, yeah. we, we've we've done his trial with him. Uh, I think uh, he will do uh, quite well. I think if he doesn't, if he stays out, if he just gets out and don't and just keeps his composure and everything else, I think he'll win. Uh, yeah. But you never know. You never know what can happen with racing. Yeah. Um, yourself, how do you feel it's going to go? I think it really depends on how these guys manage their tyres, especially over in Mexico. We know how high tyre tyre man, how crucial tyre management is around here. Especially yeah, if you want to go for that two stop, you want to stretch those softs out for an extra lap or two, try get that overcut, maybe that undercut. You never know. Yeah. But the, now that that's that's also important because. But here um, as well in this league. Safety cars are kind of a high chance of happening, so you never know. So yeah, yeah. and I think the strategy around here is either a two stop or a one stop onto the hards around lap ten. So you're going to see the pit pit movement happening around lap ten for everyone. Hmm. So guys, here we yeah. go. Here's the beginning. Here we go. Lucas on pole. Can he keep that pole? It's a long way down in the first corner. It Being is. in first it isn't is. always the best thing around here. Maybe third, I'd expect Adrian's guy to get a big toe off Lucas. But here we go. Nathan says, interesting to hear these two sing. Oh, I've, I ain't got a voice on me yet, mate. I don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think that'll be me singing. Here we go then. And I'm going to guess the lights go out. And the cars don't. Yeah, who knew that? Oh, he went out! Lucas is down the street, he's got pot battling with him now. How is it going to be into the first corner? Pot got the inside. Oh, Lucas goes right round. Does a good job to keep that. And he's kept it, he's kept it, and now Lucas is. A Quinlan, A Quinlan's been, been taken out, he's down 14 places, he's down in 18. A Quinlan, is, A Quinlan. He must have spun at the back, there must have been an incident at the back, it's a VSC. And there's a VSC. I thought that was an actual safety car then. Yeah, five seconds, Ah, oh, come on guys. Keep your distance guys, oh, if you're listening. Taylor, collision with Sharp. No. Remember guys, record your footage. 
make sure you're recording your footages. I can't believe it. Then the lights went out. We didn't even realize we thought they were gonna go out by themselves. Position <laughs> change. Ryan is gained four places. And the same as Ifni, he's also gained four places. Jay Dizzle, seven, pla seven places. And Lightning Fly, seven places also. What a start. A Quinlan down to 14. Uh, down to down 14 positions. He will not be happy about that. And we're off racing again! Oh, Adrian Scott, what's happened to Lucas? He's had Wait. a real bad start! How are we on lap 3? What? I'm so confused. DRS is enabled apparently. I don't oh, know. oh, my leaderboard's messed right up. Yeah. Oh no, it's telling <laughs> yeah. me Adrian Scott's in the lead. <laughs> oh no. What oh. is going on? I was wondering what's going on. I hope that's As soon as Quinlan's now in the <laughs> Uh, Sarp's in the lead. Oh no, Taylor's in the lead now. Um, no diamond. Oh, I don't know. I oh really my god, don't my know. leaderboard. My leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I'm on board with Lucas since I know he's in the lead. Jeez, this is up 17 points each. So it's like this five. Oh man. <laughs> oh my leaderboard. But the bad news is first. <laughs> and he's sliding around the corners. <laughs> Right, I'm so confused. Oh, it's starting to fix itself. Body Lads in third? No way, he's in the pits as well. <laughs> nah, uh, sort 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 yourself out. out now. Yeah, yeah, well done, well done. Well done, well done. Well done, well done, well done. You've done something good for a change. Good, is terrible. And we go on to, apparently, right on my screen now, we're lap 3. This is proper DRS is now enabled to this lap 3. Well, we see some movement going about in the pack. Lucas is in the lead, followed by Poxteros, Adrian Sky, Ra Ryan's up in fourth. Didn't even realise. Ryan's up yeah, in fourth. Guys gonna have a solid straight start. Taylor up in fat and fat. Oh my god, having a nightmare. One board with Poxteros, who'll be trying to hunt down Lucas as Nathan. much as possible. Nathan is sixth. Nathan is Nathan all over the back of Taylor. He is. Is, Taylor with a 5 second penalty, will that turn out to be quite costly for him? It's early in the, early in the race with no penalty. Is that because he had damage? Yes, I'd guess. No, no, sorry. Did, did they have damage? Breeding's coming out on the hard, so he's going to try and get those to the end, maybe. Oh, Taylor made a mistake! Taylor went off, and Nathan took Taylor! And that nearly ended in a bad collision with Taylor, and we ended quite dangerously there, but... Oh, Evan's all right, but Nathan now has that position. Lucas still managed to leave, well, 1.1 second gap now. Taylor's coming back at Nathan here. He's gonna have DRS down the long straight now. Yeah, this is quite inevitable. This will be a Taylor move. Taylor will be back up to fi back up to fifth, going on to the second DRS straight. DRS is very, very powerful. Oh, what's Taylor doing here? Oh, thinking well, better of it. There's been an incident. Him. There's been an incident in sector two. Captain Blade. I think he's probably Captain just lost Blade. it there. He looks like he was mining by himself. I'm not sure what happened to him though. I'm still on board yeah, with Taylor no. here. Taylor's gonna go for the move. He's going around the outside. Oh, he's going around the outside. Oh, he's closed the door. Where's Where's Nathan? Oh, that would, that, this is good racing between these two. Um, I guess. Yeah, that is the move done going into their section. Mm -hmm. What nice. else is going on here? These two, the mid, yeah. uh, like myself, we've known Nathan now from the start of this season. We, uh, me and Taylor and a few other the boys are originals. So it's good to see two, uh, two originals bat out. Nathan, ooh! Hey, always it a bit? Taylor goes wide. Oh, there's been an incident. There's been an incident, I think, where uh, ha, I think it might be PX on it, and penalties are getting chucked about here, left, right, and centre. But Poxteros, if he stays within a second, he can manage his tyres a bit. Lucas is also shortened ERS. He's down to 10% already, trying to break that second, but he's not managed to do it. Poxteros is 50% in the ERS. Well, Lucas has used all his DRS. 
and put two houses. So this is gonna be interesting, definitely. Oh! Nathan's made a move on Taylor. Nathan's up to fifth. But these, Nathan's now six seconds away from Ryan. The top four have kind of just stormed away from the pack. Remember guys, we are live for a silver race at 10 a.m. every morning and 3 p.m. for a gold race with three races. Two, is it two? How many races are I spent? Two? Uh, there will be three races, yeah, starting from season two. Um, one will be at 10 a.m. I think. Uh, so then our silver will turn to 12 and then we will have Nathan in the gold at 3 p.m. in season two. And I can announce that uh, F7R Taylor and Jake the Lad will be taking over bronze, and they will be your. They may do commentary, or they may get someone else to do their commentary. Yep. So it is going to be very interesting. We've got it here in the uh, back there, all right? Straight. Fox there also. We make a move on Lucas. He's too far away. Not going to manage, but he is just safe in that ERS. He's like TRL Limitless at Monza. Safe in that ERS. Think of better of situations. There's been an incident. Who spun again? I think it's an Alpha Terry that spun, but nothing's happened from that. I think it might have been Greeny. It was Greeny. Hey, Quinlan still down in the 17th, not making up many positions, he's made up one. We got two champion over on the back of Quick, quick Killer 21. Oh, this is the back end of it, MJ champion. I didn't even realise, but let's check the tyres everyone's on, let's see. Got Ethne on lead jumps, Joe champion lead jumps. Uh, Lightning Fly lead jumps, Patterson. Hey, Quinlan's also on lead jumps, I didn't even realise, he's obviously a greenish pitted. And then, yeah. Green can we, again, he didn't want to be on the hard. Can we see a move for Pixeros going into the first straight? He's done the back straight now, He's not the point at the ERS, he's not going for a move on the first straight. We're just going to be very vulnerable around the. I guess. I guess uh, Pock will probably think better of it this lap and go for a move either next lap or in the two laps. Or he's just going to stay behind, save his ERS. Pit, and then that's when he's gonna use it. He's gonna try to use a different strategy to Lucas. If he tries to overcut him, he'll use all that ERS to deploy all that. Sharp set purple overtaken set Joe Champion. Can we get a prediction, guys? Who do we think is looking good this race? Who do we think is gonna take that top spot? Do we think Taylor's going to win it? Lucas has made a mistake! Oh, Lucas is spun! He's, he's bit the wall! He's, he's, he's not the wall. lost the wheel. He's not lost the wheel. Is he lost, he's obviously lost front wing. Oh he's my lost front god. Wing, yes. I bet Lucas is kicking himself. I said this at the start of the race. I don't Nathan, want it to be a commentator curse. I'm sorry, Lucas. Free position well, for, for Fox Darius. It's basically Kimmy Rankin. And... It is nerve wracking, it's his first race as well. He's pitting now, he had that damage. That's I gonna guess. put Lucas up, that's gonna put Taylor up a place, Nathan up a place, Ipney up a place. It's gonna put the whole top ten up a place, Couldn't I think. Put, yeah, a lot of, look at all this coming through. He's gonna be stuck in traffic. Is he gonna go for the mediums? Or is he gonna go for the hards and try to take it to the end? He's gone for mediums, he's committing to the two stop. So there's a lot of time with that front line change. Back to Nathan's all over the back of Taylor. See what he can do in the back straight. We got the battle of Taylor and Nathan again. They have around the same ERS. Nathan just looks like he has more straight line speed than Taylor. Remember, but Taylor's running 4 8 wings. Taylor's running that higher downforce for the extra corners. So you will see, you will see Taylor start pulling away through the corners and then you've got on the straight, Nathan will close that gap straight away, especially if he deploys that ERA. Oh, thank you very much, Mpina XX, to the people that are watching today, yes, that is my <laughs> beautiful girlfriend, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> the message. Shout out to Ben's missus. Ah! Nathan Pitts! 
Very, very controversial answer. That's very, very slow, Nathan. <laughs> what is the title he's going? Medium, he's going to two soft. Medium soft. Which I feel... I'm not going to give too much away, actually. <laughs> not going to give too much away for us, Ben. <laughs> Not really much action going on right now. We've got a comeback drive for Lucas to look forward to. Yeah, that's We know it's definitely good. possible, but he's going to get held up a lot by the midfield guys if he ca starts catching on the back of them. And he catches them, especially if he catches them in the wrong places. It is quite a hard track to overtake unless you're on the DRS straight and the major breaking points. If you're stuck behind someone in the S section, you're done for. You get held up a lot. Oh, we got Ifni and Quicksilver battling, battling for the S's. Ifni is on those medium, so he's probably oh. winning for it. He had a bit of a snap then. But What's the, the position changes that they make? Position changes. Ifni is up seven places. Ifni is having a great race at the moment. Yeah, we're trying to prove to himself why he oh, should be still Oh, that's why Ryan's pitted. Ryan's pitted. Agent yeah. Sky pitted as well. Yeah, this is, where I'd yeah. this is where I'd expect to start seeing movement in the pits. Ifni up nine places. going for the move on quite quick. Ooh! And I guess that's it. Oh, he's coming back. Quick colour's coming back. Oh! Got the move done. Maybe it could have been a bit cleaner, but it is, it is racing. What can you say? I guess Poxteros and Taylor should pit this lap. Let's see what Poxteros does. Why do we watch people driving in circles instead of the fights on the track? Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Poxteros does pit. Is going to go in, fir in first place, maybe, on the leading compound. Definitely will, he definitely will stay out till probably about lap 16. Will Taylor also pit, or, or will he go stay out? Taylor stays out! Taylor stayed out. He's going for that overcut. Now you'd Taylor. think he'd start deploying that 100% ERS that he has, and start setting purple sectors, because that's what he needs to be able to close this gap to Fox Taylor. Fox Taylor will be flying probably. on medium. The These softs will be screaming. At Taylor right now. What's the penalty situation looking like? Oh my god. Eight seconds for Taylor, three for Ethne, six for Joe Champion, three for Lucas, three for Diamond Tucker, 17 for Sark, three for Nathan, three for Banter Brandon, six for Quick Killer. Aquinland still down in 14th. Three second penalty for him as well. You gotta keep all those four tires on a track. And you got Ern Ed Williams that fiver he's waiting for. Pox Deros has closed 1.3 seconds. He does the 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 need to move out of the way here. He does. Oh, if he's got uh Adrian Sky has got the move on if he Oh my god, it's free wide! <gasps> oh wait! Oh my god! Where did he come from? <laughs> Where did Ryan, Ryan come from? That's literally sent it. Yeah, don't do okay. Surprised that's not an illegal over that so what net Oh, I think Ifni's lost his head a little bit from there. I did not be. I don't know how he's not got damage from that, but I think he's lost his head a little bit with Ryan. Now. It wasn't the best move from Ryan I think we've ever seen. Look, this battle. These, some of these battles oh. are great today, and we still have a full grid. This is great to see, Silver. This is great to see. The apps, all of you are doing absolutely amazing today. Sarp has a big chance of getting disqualified here if he keeps going with these penalties ways. He's, he's won the field as well. Sarp has got 20 seconds worth of penalties and if you get 30 seconds worth of penalties, I think you can yeah, get disqualified yeah. as Lucas learned yesterday. 
20 sharp, 27 of penalty. Look, it's just all over the back of Ethne. Look, it's just coming back. Let's see what he can do. Dual champions kind of holding these guys up a little bit, but so is Ethne. He's going for a move. Look, he'll so have this in the back, but will he get a dual champion? Is Ethne going to stay next in? Ethne. Ethne is now tucked in behind Lucas. Lucas has now made that move on Ethne. Will he make a move on dual champion? What's dual champion's tire situation? 11 lap on medium compared to Lucas's 3. Taylor with another 3 second penalty. Did he go speed in pit lane? I think he cut a corner. I think he yeah, extended a little bit. Yeah, speed in the pit lane. He's being held. He's being... Oh, Taylor is not going to like that. Not Lucas died the in the inside the draw. Gets that move Lucas done. Lucas is back up into 4th on the medium compound. Now he can start to hunt down Adrian Sky. He's got to put 10 seconds to Pox Deros. Will we see Lucas? It's all about this middle stand. What can they do on these mid jumps? How can they manage their tires? Will it overheat? Will they push them to the absolute limit? You never know, then. You never know. We've got a yellow flag, 6 to 1. Who's had an incident? Quick colours out! Don't know what's happened there. He's retired on track. I don't know what he's doing. He's retired on track. Quick killer, he's just Quick retired killer. on the what track. Happened? Did he crash? He's, no, he's just driving, retired on the track. Oh, did he? I did say this in the pilot yesterday, guys. Please just don't retire if you're having a bad race. I don't know how many and times are... me, Lilac, well, like and Nathan. Taylor's making the move on Sorry to cut you off there, Ben, but Taylor's got that move done. Taylor is now up to 10, but he is going to be vulnerable down the main straight. Can back around and get a decent exit onto the first straight. Yeah, I think. Quick killer. If you are going to retire, guys, don't retire on the on the track. Yeah, like I said, I, I can't stress enough for the other boys that do this all the time and they see the, just like just going into the pits or just. Or just DQing on track, or you know, like it's, it's just no need of it. How's the tires looking? So we've got Taylor on fresh mediums, Banter Brandon, 11 lap old mediums. I think he might. I don't know if he's going to go medium hard here, or he's going to try to double softs. Not too sure, but it'll be interesting to see. But Aquinlan still down out the points in 30. He needs to get back up. But it's not the end of the world for him because Taylor is only in 10th with 13 seconds worth of penalties. Have a penalty for Diamond Tucker. Oh, I didn't realise. Ryan is on the softs. Ryan is on the softs, so he has to pit again. Is he go he's just going to go. So he's Everyone's going to have to pit medium. again, but he's going soft, soft, medium, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be very vulnerable in the last stint, I'd guess, but he seriously, if he is going to want to make this strategy work, he's going to have to close that gap to Box Teros as quick as possible, because they are a second of a lap quicker. Sharp, oh, Taylor just put Sharp, he's just in the top 10. He still has that A Quinlan into 12. He's just, the Quinlan is on a bit of a recovery drive as well. Yeah, he needs it for this championship if he wants to. Oh, there's another penalty for Lightning Fly. If he wants to have a chance at keep getting this first place in the championship, he has to, has to get into the top five somehow. He'll be begging for a safety car, but us boys out here don't want that. We want to see the best recovery drive possible. As well, Ben, I've just looked at PX limits. If he can get any closer to the guys just for example, if there's a safety car at the end of this race, PX Limits is in a great position because everyone in front of him has penalties except from Adrian Sky, Ryan Pavelli, Pavelian, is that how you pronounce it? Sorry if that's wrong. And Pox Deros. So PX Limits is still on for a great race here. Yeah, it's interesting to see Ryan took five tenths out on Pox Deros in that last lap. Interesting to see what can happen there. Nathan's making a move on dual champion. Oh, dual champion pits. Champion is in the pit and he's pitting for hard tyres. Hmm, interesting. So dual champion's going for that one stop. He's not committing for that two stop. 
We've also got who's that behind them? I don't know behind them. F and A's also pitted for hards. So they're going medium hard Ben. We're going for that one stop. That's a great question that Formula K that said in the comments. Do you think Mercedes should go back to the silver car? Personal opinion, yes, I think they should Ben. Do you feel the same with that as well? I think they should, but I love a full yeah. black car. I, 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 I love a full black car. But I, I do, do miss, miss the silver, silver cars. cars. I think that that the is silver, the silver arrow era. I think that's you know, for Hamilton and Rosberg yeah, as well. well. I think they've tried that, to take that, that away. It just, it just it represents, represents Mercedes in itself, you know. Like, I, I, I feel like when you, if you go, if you're looking at Mercedes cars, and when you go and look at cars, you, you think of the silver. Our personal opinion, you think of the silver. Yeah, you see different color Mercedes around there. Yeah, I definitely do feel you. You do see. Yeah, I'm on board with Diamond Tucker though. It's quite interesting to see, but I think yeah. I miss the chrome, the chrome car. Yeah. Remember McLaren back in the day as well? Yeah, with that orange car. and chrome, that, that, was a, that was a great car. That was a great car. Diamond Tucker pets him, I guess he goes on to, oh he goes on to softs. Two stuff again, wait, oh he got held a little bit. Oh, I'm the McLaren, the Mercedes have double stacked. I don't exactly know why, but Mercedes have double stacked. I guess they won't be communicating with each other, but Ryan's dropped a second to Pox Deros now, that's not going to do him any favours. He seriously needs to start closing that gap up. Um, There's not much else going on, let's go down to uh, Joe Champion who's all over the back of his teammate, A. Quinlan. Fast as right now. Oh, he's coming. Let's make a mistake. Joe Champion's gonna come back on that. Joe Champion up to eight. Overtakes his teammate. Equilon also a free save. Equilon. Oh, oh Equilon saved it. And FD's overtook him. Equilon's feeling the pressure. He's down to ten. He's lost two places in the matter of, of seconds. Like, I don't know how to get rid of that situation, mate. Mm. What? What's Ben said? I'm echoing on the screen apparently. Yeah, I'm probably making put it back in China. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm Equilon must be feeling the pressure, guys. Must be. What's penalties? Start by 23 seconds. Here. Yeah, I think I hope we got something better now. Everything give me an update, mate. Aquin struggling out of here. Absolutely struggling. I think his tyres have completely given up on him. 14 lap holds, medium. Yeah, Aquin uh, needs to get these tyres. Another two laps, try to see them. Oh, we've got a bit of racing going on right in front of him. I didn't even realise. Two hard runners. Oh, F your champion. Like, I live in a cave park. No, I uh have. -huh. <laughs> Who's just left it? Wait, someone's retired. Patterson's retired in the pits. Oh, uh, uh, in the pits. Gee, this one got disqualified as well. What? <laughs> yeah. This is very bugging, you know. I, we we we've said about it. We hope you can move on from it, boys. Um, yes, yeah, some of you are new. I understand that. Yeah. Good morning, Steg. How you doing, Nick? What you're ready for today in the in the goal? Oh, Adrian Sky is on Ryan right over the back of him. Oh, Equinland's five second penalty. That's gonna really put him down the order now. He's Did not Adrian having Sky a great race. Penalty, then, um, no, Equinland. Oh, Equinland, sorry. Equinland has eleven second worth of penalties. So oh, has twenty six second seconds worth of penalties. And there's another one, he's 29, he's close oh, to the Oh, there's been a spot. massive crash, Joe Champion in yeah, Ipney, Ipney's Yeah, I'm not out. surprised. What he was doing, Joe oh, Champion was kind of pushing him out that wide. Really bad. Who, do, who was at fault there, Ben? I didn't see it. Uh, I literally looked at the comments and then I looked up and then I seen the incident. Yeah, I'm what I was seeing really from... Sure what, what I was seeing there. from when they were battling was... kind of pushing each other out wide. 
not really giving it much of a chance, but Joe Champions lost the front wing, so I guess Joe Champions went into the back of Ifni, if I had to guess. You don't lose a front wing oh. racing. Ifni was on for a he great result. So well. he was. I bet he is gutted. Oh, uh, Bordeaux, why do I feel a penalty? If he, if you've got your, um... I would like to see what happened there. Ethne was on for a great result. Points. He was going to prove to her why he, he should remain in. here. The same with Joe Champion. Lucas himself. has got another three second penalty. That's not going to help him at all. So but I feel... 29 worth a second. Yeah, he's, he's, I think he's a three second penalty off disqualification. What's the situation the tires like? Pucks to Ross. Absolutely blitzing it out front. Ryan is on hard tires now. He went off the softs and went into the hards. Uh, you saying Ryan's on hards, yeah. Yeah, Ryan's went into hards during that BSC. Yeah, but that's quite disappointing to see that whole situation. But I guess since Joe Champion lost the front wing, I have no idea what happened. So I can't really put a name on it. And who mm. happened, we'll have to see the footage. I'd expect Lucas to start closing up Ryan as well. He's on fresh mediums. He'll take this to yeah, the end there. McLaren, one, two. This is great to see. This is great for you for them if it stays here. I think the McLaren's were one in third last week as well, Ben, right? He put on another three second penalty. It's not helping him out at all. He's not having a great race. There's been a spin somewhere, so yellow flag. It's been a... Oh, Captain Blade facing backwards, rejoining safely. Nice, Captain Blade. Nathan's having a good race as well. He just got a penalty, commentator's curse. Just got a penalty, as you said, but started speaking about Nathan then. <laughs> Lucas needs to get past Ryan here. Top four just running away with it now. Nathan not too far off Lucas as well. Six seconds, Lucas but he's on a eleven lap old knee jumps. Yeah, Lucas has six seconds of penalty, and Ryan has zero at the moment. Um, There's been another yellow flag. It's a racing point. Who's that? Bodie lad. That's what's really happened to Bodie lad. A Quinlan is catching Bantam and Brandon disqualified from this session. Yeah, I said that was sure. going to happen. Same it's as what happened with Lucas last night. This. That is very disappointing. Lucas with a free second time penalty. Another Again, one. That puts him on nine seconds. We, we know he was. Yeah, we know he struggles around here with penalties from what we've seen recently. And to be honest, if you are trying to push the limits and try to get the most out of your car around here, it is easy to start picking up those penalties. Who else? So we've got A. Quinlan, five, four tenths behind Banter Brandon. He's going to make a move to the first straight, but is he? He is. The squall up Oh. Captain Blake got, got the squall up Catching Nathan here. What tyres? What are the tyres between these two guys? Yeah. Get a Taylor is on those pressure mediums they're making. If it wasn't on stream, on. we were wondering what was happening. Could you send the footage? Well, can you ever, can you get the footage for us and possibly send it to the Discord? Either put it in yeah, the report, put it in the reporting. If me, oh, I've seen it from my point of view. I literally looked up and I just seen your back wall. Oh, personal opinion. I don't know what Joe Champion did. Oh, Lucas takes wrong. Yeah, that was inevitable. Look, Ryan's on those hard compound tires. They're horrible around here. They're a lot, lot slower. Mediums are slow, but hards, I can't even imagine. I've not even given them a shot around here. But remember... Oh, Nate, is now Taylor going to get Nathan in his DRS thing? What is the... No, the too far away. ERS? Too far away. Too far away. Yeah, too far away. Yeah. Nothing else is happening, to be honest. Got Taylor and it's all Ryan and Taylor. You've got 
Lucas is going to try to close that gap between this guy, but he is going to end up not finishing in the place. Well, what happened to Captain Lee? He got disqualified as well. Did he get disqualified? Yeah, three disqualifications. I think, he, I think he was trying to re-enter safely and then it ended up getting disqualified. You've got Fox Tell, Spur Racer, he's just Run away, out in the lead on 12 lap old medium. He is probably just loving it. <laughs> Oh, there's been a yellow flag, there's a McLaren off, uh, not a McLaren, there's been a Mercedes battle brand, it's out, oh. it's out. Is it going to no, come bring out a happened? safety car? What's, what's happened? happened? I, look, I think he's lost it himself. Oh, it's a safety car! It's a, it's safety, a safety car, safety car. Safety car. No. This makes it very interesting now. What? Everyone's going to get a free pit stop for those soft tyres if they choose to take it, which they've got to. They have to take it. Three soft drive for penalty for Bodyguard again. That's the second. That's the second time. Everyone looks like they're pitting. What will Poxteros do here? You expect to see soft compound tires? You do. Poxteros goes on to soft. That Adrian Sky is slowing himself down so he doesn't get held up like we did last week. Champion has a pit. Yeah. I'll do something in that. What is the likes of Taylor going to do here? Is he going to pit? Well, are already all going to pit? A body lad. Taylor was it? I feel like Taylor was in two minds then. He helps out Equinlan a bit. He needs needs to get up that position and pull gaps to people because he's got nine second worth of penalties. Nathan dropped Taylor in the pit. What's happened? What? <laughs> Nathan just got past Taylor in the pit. Did Taylor have front wing damage? Is Did that he? why he's no, not I been able to move yeah, up position? Yeah, been held. Nathan now in a great position with the safety car. Ryan is on mediums in front of him. But Ryan. Disqualified from the sessions for ignoring flags. That's not good that? to see. Did you just see that? Yeah. I don't know what he did. That's one of the new Lightning drivers as well. Ignoring. Four disqualifications, guys. That's not great to see. So we have Top Sterling well, on the soft compound, Agent Sky on the soft, so is Lucas Ryan on those mediums. The people behind him all on fresh softs could have in there. Who's, let's see your tires. Yeah. So we've got. How do you feel it's going to go down? But you, you do have. I think Ryan's going to tumble down the order. Oh, Lucas got a drive through penalty. What? Lucas has a drive through. That's it. That's he will not be happy about that. Yeah, that's going to take him right down the order again. Bowley lad has a drive through penalty as well. This is going to be interesting to the finish. I think Ryan's going to get eight up alive here. But when it comes to maybe 10, maybe the 34th lap, 35th lap, Ryan might be able to start closing little bits of gaps here and there. And Five Nathan... Seconds, penalty, collision with Ryan. Oh, what has Nathan done there? I think well, there's Nathan's probably... Got a penalty on my uh, Ryan hasn't got a penalty, sorry. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, 
It's a collision with Ryan. Yeah, normally two drivers get the penalties. Yeah, they both get them, but there's no... Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So what's the penalties looking like? Oh, Lucas is gonna... Lucas is gonna be not happy with himself at all. He's yeah, gonna be he's way tumbled really down the order. He must have sped in the pit lane and got that drive through. Because he had so Only many before. Is, uh, yeah, he's got... He had, I think that's his second or third drive through. Don't know. It's quite disappointing. You see, only 12 drivers. Four disqualified, four crashes. Mm -hmm. I a think DNS as well. Pox Deros needs to pull away here. Yeah, the champion's speeding in the pit lane before he took the penalty. That puts him on 17 seconds of him. Oh, Ryan, the never. Yeah, see, they got that five second now. There. What is it? Oh, yeah, I see that. Make sure you have your footage, guys. You can send that in and get rid of that. Um, bet Nathan's right there. kicking himself a little bit. Yeah, he Nathan. Says that all the time. Nathan says WTF the in the chat. Something. I think, I guess, if it is quite angry, I guess there's been somebody's brake checked and it's kind of fallen through. And it's ended up with Nathan, Nathan having the worst outcome come on. Happened, that would be great. <laughs> Round thirteen, Ethne. Safety car in this lap, Ben. Ready to get Safety racing. In this lap, mate. Ryan will most likely get absolutely eight alive here on this restart as he's on the mediums. You've got Nathan all over the back. Taylor's only got six. Set. Oh, I know what it was, Ben. Taylor's. What was it? Taylor has done a six, seven, work, seven seconds worth of penalties in the pits. Mm -hmm. So that's why Nathan's been able to jump in. Um, we've got one away. Nathan did get a good start. Oh. Ryan hasn't done too bad going down the street. Taylor's on the front of fast. Nathan, is he going to get him? They've both got overtake on. They're both in rich move. Because Taylor hasn't got that straight line of speed that Nathan has on him. Oh, but... Nathan... Let's switch back. Now Taylor has an awesome lot of move by Taylor. Great racing. Absolutely great that racing. Absolutely amazing. Here comes the house, the house apart at PX Lomits. Oh, Down the inside wow. of Nathan. He's oh, died Nathan's up. all over the shot. He's, he's got the move. Nathan has just been knocked out. He do not know what has just happened to him. Taylor he up is to thinking, What is going on here? Adrian Sky, six seconds. No, three seconds worth of penalties. Taylor is now closing that gap to Ryan and... Oh, sorry, that is Bodie that he's being lapped. Why is, why is Bodie that not getting out of the way? Yeah, he really needs to get out of the way, don't he? He's got to hold Taylor up for this Taylor, section. Oh, my God. Oh, he's holding the... Oh, 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 no. That's damage. Oh, is it damage? Spun it. No, he's not got damage. He was very lucky. Very lucky. Outbraked himself massively. Four. Oh. That was 16 2 16 2 from Lucas. After this drive through, he's still going to be in the top 10, though, so he, that's he fast will, lap. Yeah. Still possibly yeah. can. Taylor all over the back. Nathan on the, on PX limits. Can you get the switch Nathan's back? Do... Oh. Nathan's got 16 more seconds worth of penalties. Nathan's unlucky there, I feel. Well. He tried to get that inside line. Yeah, he tried to get that cut, that powerful cutback to get them there. Yeah. Tell you that three second time by the corner pack. 
I'm surprised Bodhi actually hasn't been disqualified as well since he's had two drivers. I think Lucas got a service driver this lap, then. I think so, yeah. So for this lap of the next one, he has three laps to he has three laps to do it. Or he gets disqualified. But Taylor chasing down Ryan, he needs to get past Ryan and start building up a gap. Mm -hmm. Ed says, think Nathan has lost part of his wing. I think, do you think that's really? happened from the incident? From a yeah. different angle on him. Nathan, no, he has, no he hasn't, Nathan's still got, it's, no, he's he got might have minor wing. damage, but it's not anything major. Lucas serves his drive through, Lucas is in the pits. Yeah, that's what's going on. We've got Taylor Ryan. over the back of Ryan. Will Taylor that go for the move? He needs. He needs to get past him. I don't know. I don't know perfectly what the point in situation is between Taylor. But no DRS yet. Taylor just wants to hold on to that overtake. Ryan has really low. Nate Ryan with another three second time penalty. Ryan, now Nathan has 19 seconds of penalty. Taylor's just losing that bit of pace to him. Equal than another three second penalty, that's not going to help him. He's over to his teammate now. seconds of penalty. Taylor just needs four points oh, to win the championship. Back. Yeah, I just seen that. There's a high chance he can get this lead if he can get past. DRS open. Can he make a move on Ryan? Ryan's short the ERS, but so is Taylor. Taylor's going for the move. He needs to make this stick. Try and build up a gap and he get it done. Taylor up to into the podium. Taylor Will he win? Can position. he take this two lifted championship title? Oh, what's happened back there? Ryan's lost. He's got three wide, Nathan. Oh my God. Those medium tires not coming in. PX limits and Nathan PX and Taylor all race. take a position on Ryan now. Now Ryan is like, what the hell has just happened there? Oh, that's not going to help Taylor real either. Bad exit. Taylor's got another nine seconds. three second penalty. PX limits. He's only got three seconds. PX limits. If he can just stay with him now. Oh, this is wide. PX limits. Another three-second penalty for him. I've just seen that pop up there. What's the penalty situation? Where is it? Three seconds for Adrian's guy. Nine for Taylor. Nineteen for Nathan. Six for PX limits. Five for Ryan. Twelve for Aquin. Taylor really have to get a move on. Taylor Searson needs to start. He needs to. He needs to get three seconds. I guess Ryan's um, uh, five-second penalty if might not stand, depending on the situation of how the incident happened. But that might get lifted if it was a brake check and he had to slow down and it ended up just having a little collision. Got Adrian Sky still five five tenths behind Poxteros. Can we see a change in the lead here? Poxteros has led every single lap so far. Now five six seconds of pending. Yeah. Got it. But oh, still, what? Nathan's gone wide. Yeah, Nathan's gone wide oh, every no, single time with that corner. Him. Can we see a move here? Can we see a move for fourth place? Oh, good move. Great racing oh, by Ryan's guys there. Oh, Ryan's taking the move as well. Oh, Nathan could run back out the outside. Nice Ryan move won. there from Nathan. Great defending from Nathan. PX yeah, Limits is going to be vulnerable down the back, uh, down the yeah. pit straight though. Nathan, the McLarens have run away with this. Um, they're yeah. all, they are battling at the moment. The PX, uh, I think Adrian Sky is just not pushing out. He doesn't want to make Poxteros make a mistake. He wants to get these because he knows he's not he's, he's not going to pull three seconds to Poxteros. He's not. 
No. I think he doesn't want if he doesn't want to force his teammate into a mistake. He doesn't want to put him up under too much pressure. Yeah, they they just want to stay like this. Uh, Poxteros, from what I've seen, definitely deserves this. Deserves a race win from what I've seen. But Taylor now pull 2.6 to PX limits. All he needs is to pull another, I think, another second or so, and he could have third place secured if Ryan doesn't start coming back. Taylor is setting a great example for the league here. He's not had the greatest of races, but he's just stuck with it, done what he's had to do, and now he's in third. Yeah, well, flag for Aquin. Aquinland's lost a part of his wing. Aquinland's lost part of his wing. Oh, that's, I think that could be it for the title. A. Quinlan is down and out of this race. I can imagine he should pit here. He does. Oh, Quinlan. This pit. is, I think, Taylor's race to lose. Nathan in the fourth. Going through PX. Yeah. PX is going to come back, though, but really Nathan's going to have to DRS. PX is going to be vulnerable here to Ryan. Will Ryan make? Will we see Ryan make a move? Ryan dies. Ryan outbreaks himself almost, but locks up and saves it. PX having an absolutely great race, but Nathan's going to go tumbling down the orders with that 22-second penalty. Ryan's for a three-second Guys, if we could start getting maybe a driver of the day, who do we think deserves it in the comments? Ryan's out! Ryan's lost it! Ryan's out! Oh, what's happened? What's happened? Where did he lose it to? He's lost it just before the hairpin. Wait. Yeah, you're right. Wait, you're no, right. his car's moving, though. No, it's not moving. It's on the track there, mate. Lost the wheel a lot. I Ryan can't see out. it. Uh, he is not going to be happy with that. She's for me. Oh no, this car's stopped now. Wonder what's happened there. It's going to be interesting to see. Can someone start a pull? Is it possible to send up and send a pull? Yeah, someone. Pardon me. I don't know if uh, Lashmaster is in the. Uh... Yeah, um, Lashmaster, if you can make a pull, mate. Uh, just a driver today, that would be great. Um, but, um, yeah, ten. get that in. Yeah. Ten drivers yeah. left, Ben. I know. Only ten drivers Crazy, left. Yeah, a lot of DNS. It's a shame, it's such a shame. But. but uh, I'm going to stay on board with Pock here. He's done absolutely amazing today. Yeah, he's been absolute like dominant said, out there. Yeah, you're right, mate. Like I said from the start, because obviously Lucas was in the lead and, and the pressure must have been so, so on Lucas for, for the hot, for the previous lap he was doing. You know? Lucas is all the way back PX here, though. Still get something. What's the penalties? The fight for four. There is, but since Nathan's got 22 second penalty, he's kind of selling yeah. out of that. So. We're all in the last lap now, though. Pocasero's coming through the last sector. Been absolute yeah. dominance. But Taylor is going to win the championship if he can keep it on the road. Fair play to the top. I'll take my eye off him. My driver of the day. Who's your driver of the day, Ben? Wait, let's we'll wait let's 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 PX is pushing, what's it going to be? PX Taylor's four. four! Oh 
my god! PX Minutes takes it! Taylor fourth by three hundredths of a second. Unbelievable. Nathan sixth, Joe Champion seventh, Diamond Tucker eighth, A Quinlan about to come across the line in ninth. Bodhi Lad who's three laps down. Oh okay. Uh, yeah. And Bodhi Lad in tenth gets a point. Get the point. point, yeah, you are right. <laughs> Bodhi lad, I think, don't count me wrong on this one, but I think this is his first point in Formula 7. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but... Driver of the day on the game is PX Limits. What is your decision now, then? Because that was an absolute dominance by Tox there, Ross. It was a dominance but PX by PX Limits has come through the pack and he's driving so well under the he pressure that up. he's been. I think it was I think it was nine positions in the end. My driver of the day goes to PX Limits today. Um, yeah, I think he deserves it. He has probably been nervous <laughs> the whole race. Um, but Tox did smash it, but my driver of the day does go to PX Limits, I'm afraid. I'll have to agree with you on that one. Yeah, um fastest lap goes to Lucas as well, one one sixteen two. Yeah. Remember guys so, oh. Poxteros wins the Mexican Grand Prix. You have foot um yeah, Adrian Sky behind him. You have PX limits started eleventh on the grid to come in third. I bet he's buzzing with that. Taylor probably feels a bit unfortunate with his penalties. He finishes in fourth, but he is, I think, world champion. We'll have to double check Lucas that. Lucas in fifth. We will double check that and we will announce that on the stream in a minute if we can. Um, we have Tick is Nathan. He did very well today. Uh, seventh is Joe Champion. Eighth is Diamond Tucker. Eighth, Quinlan and ninth. Uh, Bodie Lad is uh, tenth. And then the rest uh, did disqualify. I will invite these boys in. You don't have to join if you don't want to. But I will invite you in the boost. Maxi Box says Taylor is not world champion, I think. Yeah, I've just seen that in the um Discord. Maybe he's not. Can I kick no oh, I don't know if I want that that's a bit bad I think. <laughs> wait. Hey Taylor is world champion. We'll wait to confirm that. Oh, um, we will, we will start that. Yeah, it's You adding the guys to the party, yeah? Yeah, man. Nathan says in the chat, Taylor is world champion. Is that case? He scored, what is it? I'm going to go with that. So, points? Taylor, you are world champion. <laughs> well done to you, my friend. Wait, then Taylor said in the Discord, yeah, I'm not world champion. He's not, oh, this is confusing. <laughs> so, Equivalent finished ninth. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is annoying. How world champion 50 points with two races to go. Oh, that's very true. I'll let you do the interviews, Ben. Yeah, it could be a second. Wait, we've added all of them to this one. <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing, that was class. <laughs> yeah, you're buzzing. Yeah, man. It a great race. That's yeah, that's amazing, man. You did great. Hello. I mean, uh, give me a second, Adrian Sky, buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah, you did amazing out there, mate. Um, uh, I, I, you're my driver of the day today. Uh, you made yeah, up eight true. positions in the end. Um, yeah. I, I can imagine you're, you're quite buzzing with that. I, I did say on stream, I can imagine you were quite nervous. Uh, but yeah, mate, you did amazing. How'd you feel it went? Yeah, the last few laps I was... Uh... 
just trying to make sure I didn't spin because my tires were on like 60%, so just didn't, didn't yeah. want to mess it up. Yeah, the tire, and, uh, tire wear around there is really bad, but uh, yeah, you did amazing, yeah. mate. Um, you had the battle with Nathan as well, I bet that was quite cool to do. So yeah, Nathan's yeah. A, he plays a big role in this league, he's a massive, he's, he's, he's massive, he, he does what he does for everyone. And uh, yeah, for man. him to be in the race as well was good, but PX, what's what well on, mate? Cheers, is that, yeah, is that your first podium? Uh, second. Second? Oh, congratulations, brother. Cheers. I've done it. You take study. Agent Sky, how you doing? Yeah, great. Fantastic race for McLaren, for our team. Amazing, mate. Yeah, how did you feel it went today? Uh, can you repeat? I said, uh, yeah, it was amazing. How how do you feel it went today? Yeah, uh, I I am very happy about the result and. Um, uh, uh, very nice stuff. I, uh, as I said, uh, from all team, uh, we had uh, two, three in qualifying, then one, two in a race. Yeah, and uh, I think we are on the top of the table uh, yeah. in constructor standings. Yeah. And, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's amazing. <coughs> that, that was wonderful race. Absolutely fantastic. And safety car uh, was uh, absolutely in time. Had wonderful timing because uh, we wanted to change uh, tires on, on this lap and mm -hmm. yeah, that uh, helped us. Yeah, amazing. Well, congratulations to you today, mate, and, uh, and to McLaren, of course. Yeah, thank you. No, no worries. Hawks, they're off. Amazing, mate. Yeah, it was good stuff. How'd you think of that one? Well, it was a good race, just controlled it. Yeah, I, I mean, I said at the beginning, it, it was that Lucas this guy's first race, and I thought with the pressure from you, the you know, the whole race was, was going to get you. It was from the get-go, really, down the main straight from the start. You almost had him into turn one, but I think you didn't really want to quite send it in the end. No, that's it. That's it. You've just got to be patient. Absolute and, uh, dominance from you know. start to finish. Yeah, it was just a dominance to me. I, I can't say no more than that, really. It was just... Yeah, the race was perfect. Yeah. yeah, I thought you'd be quite disappointed with the times that you set, because I've seen, yeah, but in the end, don't yeah, want it to um, qualify. With time trial, you, you, you got, like, you, you can do as many laps as you like, if you get what I mean, and then trying to do it in the real thing, but it, it come up clutch for you in the end, mate, you, 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 you got that first, if you get what I mean. Yeah, it was just a dominant strike. I was saying, me and Ben were talking about you. There's no more that we could say. It was just absolute perfection. Yeah. Uh, is, is there anything you want to say, Ben? Before we go? Just well done, mate. There's absolute dominance. <laughs> I hope to see you again next week. Yeah, I'll see you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no worries, Pop. Take it steady, mate. Well, that is it, guys. That is it for Mexico. What a race it was. Wasn't it, Ben? That was, yeah. uh, that was uh, very, uh, very intense. You could definitely agree. Maybe a bit too many DNFs in what we yeah. would actually want, uh, but in the end, I'd say pretty good race. Solid out the front. Some good, really good overtaking. So. Yeah. Remember guys, we are live again later on today at 3pm for the gold race where me and Ben will be racing and you'll be back with Nathan, who I'm sure you have all dearly missed. So guys, take it easy and we'll see you again next time.